Hi, this is Protoballer14, and I'm going to show you how to take out your stack board and put in the new 2010 Tadao SLG board. Mawashi 7 technology. I said that right. I already have these screws pre taken out or most of the way out. What you're going to want to do first is take out your grip screws. There are three grip screws here. And this is very fairly simple. I already have mine in. I'm just going to show you what I did. Uh, it does take a little while to do. I don't know if you can see this because I am using my computer. So I'll work on it here. This is the SLG board after it is put in. And right here I have the stock board in my trusty Tadal case where mine came in there. It comes in this nice protective casing so that it can't be harmed. That's really hard, I guess. Here's your stock board. One big difference you're going to notice about the Tadal board is no more dip switches. Finally, programming your board does not require taking your grips off. You can see it's black because it's got that nice finish on it so the water will not hurt it. First thing you're going to want to do is disconnect your cables here. Uh, your top one goes to micro switch. The red one will go to your battery. Your third one will go to the sear and solenoid. And your last one will go to your eyes. Once you take those out, take a small Phillips screwdriver. Take out the tiny screws at the top corner right there. And the bottom corner right there. They are very small screws. Do not lose them. Oops. One thing you want to be careful about, I still haven't found out why, is I think it's something with Tadao or their board or something. These switches seem to be a little bit more reactive to these buttons, so it barely takes any of a push to turn it on. So that's one thing you will want to be careful about. Also, to take your micro switch out to put the Tadao one in, take these two screws out. And save them because it doesn't come with another one. I decided not to put the Tadal one in, which I do have in here. I bought a Virtue Featherlight Micro Switch for this because it does seem to shoot a little bit better. I don't know if it was just what Tadal gave me. This was theirs. Let's see, the wires are a little bit bent up. Uh, I don't know why. I only had these in for about three days. And you can already see. As I hold it up, the switch is not resting on the micro controller. It's a fraction of an inch off, which I think results in a slower ball per second. And I was really only getting about eight or nine balls per second off this, which I was not happy about. So I spent the four bucks and got the Virtue Featherlight switch, which is working phenomenally. <laughs> Once you get it back in, all you have to do is reconnect all that uh, wires. Screw in the screws and screw in your micro switch. One thing you will notice though is the Allen key right here. I don't know if you can see from these wires, but there is a small button right there. Pressing that button will automatically turn on the board inside of tournament lock mode. That means you will not be able to change or modify any settings on this, like debounce, dwell, any of that. It will automatically put you into a tournament set mode. I have never messed around with that, nor do I not plan to, because I have heard rumors it's hard to get out of, and I just don't want to mess around with it. Uh, but I don't know what tournament it is. No one to doubt it's probably going to be PSP if you pull it once, MPPL if you pull it twice, but yeah, we're not in the manual. So maybe it's just like a PSP ranking slash millennium no ramp ramping. Uh, you can see the size difference is pretty much exactly the same here. Uh, I'm sorry if this is bad. My laptop is where I'm filming this from. I cannot see what I'm doing because I had to angle it downward. But there is about the same size difference. The only hard part was getting it to fit on the processor. Uh, I don't know, they look the same size, but this processor seemed to be bending 
a little bit when I had to put it in. No big deal though. That album was just fine. I love it.